Good morning, everyone. I wanted to do a video today on acrylic pouring on a budget. I realized I spend a lot on supplies and I wanted to show what you can get, what you can start out with um, if you're working with a budget. I went to a few different stores. I ended up purchasing some supplies from two different stores. I spent $26 at Walmart and I spent $4 at the dollar store. So in total with tax, I spent about $31. Uh, now this is a lot of extra supplies. You wouldn't use all of this at one time, but I wanted to show if you wanted to get started, what you can buy and how much it breaks down to when you're doing one or two paintings. So I have craft sticks to stir paint. I have cups. I have 10 different colors of paint. I have them separated out, so I'm going to do uh, two different pours with them. So I have an idea for one set of colors and I have an idea for another set of colors. I also purchased some Mod Podge that is the gloss variety to use as kind of uh, as my pouring medium. I have a plate to pour on to collect the paint and I have a variety of different surfaces to pour on. Uh, I would say the biggest, the biggest part of this, the biggest cost is my surfaces. I purchased, I like pouring on wood and so I purchased um, these oval pieces of wood and these uh, just wood circles. So if you didn't want anything like this, these were 97 cents a piece. I have eight of them. So right off the bat, that's $8 that I put just on those. So from my 30, if I cut that out, the rest of all of this would be $22. So I'm going to set these aside for now. I will use them later, but for um, the point paintings that I would like to do, I think I'm just going to use canvas. And then what I'm going to do is break it all down. So I have two packs of canvas that both have two canvas each. They were $4.97 for a pack of two. So if you are only using one canvas, that's about $2.50 per canvas. And I'm also going to share where I got it from. So the cups, the stir sticks, the wood, and the canvas, and the paint I got from Walmart. And then the Mod Podge and the plate that I'm going to pour on is from the dollar store. So I would recommend the dollar stores that I went to, I have three um, that I went to. None of them had paint, but they do have other things that could be useful to you. I actually went to the dollar store after I went to Walmart. Uh, I could have gotten a better deal on craft sticks. They had, these were, let's see how much they were. They aren't that expensive. It was a pack of 50 for 88 cents. But at the dollar store, I saw packs of 100 for a dollar. So you could get a little bit of a better deal on those. So if you're starting out, I would suggest going to some different stores, seeing what they have and pricing it all out. I went to three different dollar stores. I went to Walmart. Uh, I compared it to what I know that things cost at Michael's because I shop at Michael's so often. And then also check out places like um, Goodwill. I went to Goodwill and I actually ended up buying um, two, they were already painted on, so I'm just going to gesso them and reuse them, but two larger canvas for $2 each. So there are other stores that you can shop at to find things to help you get started. They don't have to be super expensive, um, if you want to just play around with it. So the stir sticks, like I said, were 88 cents. One pack of canvas was $4.97. My plastic cups were $2.48 for a pack of 80. And then all of my paint were 50 cents a piece. So this is the best deal that I have found. Um, it's a two ounce bottle of paint. 
They are Apple Barrel craft paint. The only thing that I've heard, um, especially in a lot of Facebook groups, people say that the white paint from Apple Barrel tends to crack. So I didn't buy any white, but I have 10 different colors. So I spent $5 on paint. Um, $2 worth of paint is going to be for one painting. Oops, not that. Sorry, bud. And you'll probably see them walking around. Both of my cats are in here right now. So I have $2 worth of paint for one and then I have $3 worth of paint for another. I probably, I may not use every single color, but I liked them, so I just purchased them since they were 50 cents. Uh, in the past few videos, I've done a couple with purple and teal, and I really like the way that that turned out, so I purchased a purple called Wild Iris, um, one kind of teal turquoise color called Key West, Tuscan teal and cloudless, which is a little bit um, of a blue color. I may actually mix these two to kind of lighten up this Tuscan teal, but I thought these would all be really pretty together for one painting. And then for my other, I haven't done these colors in a while and I wanted to do them again, but I have a cranberry, <clears throat> tropic orange, sun-kissed peach, uh, I think I'm going to use a little bit of Tuscan Red, which I haven't used before, but I thought it would look really pretty with those colors. And then a Territorial Beige and Burnt Umber. I may use just a little bit of these. I also haven't decided I may use one of these colors in with my other color palette. And then like I said, at the dollar store, I purchased some Mod Podge. Some people use uh, just Elmer's Glue for their pouring medium. There are also other brands like Floetrol, which a lot of people use. Um, I use it. I don't use it too much anymore. I use Sargent Art Gloss Medium now, but I wanted to try this out just to compare it since it is um, a gloss finish. So I have, those were a dollar each. So one, two, three, four, so about five dollars, three dollars, and then my plate to catch the paint. What I'm going to do is take a minute and break this all down and start mixing up some colors. Okay. So just to get super technical, <laughs> I'm going to make notes for myself on how much so canvas was $4.97 for two of them. Get to my calculator. So for one canvas, $2 and about 49 cents if we round up. Paint, we have $2 in paint. We have $1 for our medium. I also add in water. I probably won't add too much water because these types of paint tend to be more fluid um, than other brands like Artist Loft or Liquitex. So they, I do need some water, but not a whole lot. And then if we use, let's estimate about 10 cups because we're gonna have multiple colors and then we're gonna have a cup to pour from. So we're actually just looking at about, there were 80 cups in there. I paid $2.48. We're looking at about three cents per cup. So you can add about 30 cents for that. And then my stir sticks, let's do that. 88 cents. So we're looking at about, about two cents each. So not too bad for the stir sticks. Like I said, at the dollar store, they were, uh, they had two different sizes. They had this size and then they had the larger size and they were a hundred for a dollar. So you could get a better deal at the dollar store. So I'm just going to add this all up. 249 plus two plus one plus 32 cents. So you're looking at, well, let's see, four, 
you're looking at less than seven dollars for one painting so not including the wood pieces that I bought I spent twenty two dollars about a third of that for each painting so for under $10, you can get started and do this all yourself. I am going to break this up so that the video isn't very long. So this first part was just going through the pricing on everything. Uh, the second part, I'm actually going to pour on a couple of canvas um, because I do like these colors. I want to see what I can come up with with everything that I bought for the money that I spent. So paint, canvas cups and stir sticks were all from Walmart. Um, Walmart is the only place that I have found paint for 50 cents a bottle. At Michael's I believe it starts out at about 79 cents per bottle so it's not that much more but depending on what you have and what you're looking for to buy uh, Walmart was the best. And then the Mod Podge and my dish that I'm going to pour on to catch the paint was at the dollar store. Uh, and like I said, you may want to check out different stores, see what different places have, and then compare it. Um, I've heard people say they find things at Habitat for Humanity stores, secondhand thrift shops, dollar stores, Walmart, and then if you're looking at some more expensive products, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Dick Blix, and you can even go to Target. Target has started their own line. They do have some canvas. They have some paint. But cost-wise, Walmart and Michaels are probably going to be your best bet. So I'm going to get these open and get my paint mixed up. And I will start another video with pouring.